Not gonna fall off. <laughs> Holding hands and capturing sunsets. I'll see you right back here tomorrow. Good night. Building a better Bay Area. Moving forward, finding solutions. This is ABC 7 News. This is literally the calm before the storm. By this time tomorrow, an atmospheric river will be dumping rain all over the Bay Area. Good evening, I'm Ama Date. And I'm Dan Ashley. Thank you for joining us. Uh, take a look around the Bay Area and enjoy the view because the clock is ticking on the sunshine. Tick, tick, tick. <laughs> ABC 7 News meteorologist Sandy Patel is here to show you just how soon the rain will arrive. Sandy. Yeah, Dan and Ama, the rain will arrive as early as tomorrow morning, but the worst of it will be tomorrow afternoon, evening, going into Friday. So let's talk about live Doppler 7. It's a level three storm, a strong storm tapping into that atmospheric river, the rich, moist source of subtropical air. So we are going to get doused with not only heavy rain, but strong winds are going to whip the Bay Area. Let's first talk about the flood watch. I should say drenched. Flood watch is in effect tomorrow afternoon through Sunday morning. The entire Bay Area is under that flood watch. Flooding is possible caused by excessive rain. Keep in mind the ground is wet so when you have saturated soils and heavy rain falling on top of it you can obviously have problems like flooding wind advisory tomorrow afternoon until 4 p.m friday afternoon gusts 50 to 60 miles an hour will likely cause some power outages topple tree limbs and certainly blow things around let me time this out for you give you a preview of what's to come your morning commute begins at 5 a.m and it's cloudy, but we see a few light showers with the warm front. And then here comes the main event. Three o'clock in the afternoon, you're seeing downpours going into tomorrow night. Thunderstorms are possible. The risk for flooding the next two days will be in the moderate category for the Bay Area. Much of the Sierra on our exclusive ABC 7 News storm impact scale tomorrow afternoon through Friday morning. It's a level three, moderate to heavy rain at times. We're talking about strong, potentially damaging winds, flooding on the roadways and streams. This isn't the only atmospheric river I am tracking. I'll be back with a closer look at the AccuWeather 7-day forecast, which does include your weekend as well. Dan? Okay, Sandy, thanks a lot. We'll touch base shortly. Uh, check out the conditions at Lake Tahoe. Here's a live look from our camera along South Lake Tahoe at Zephyr Cove, just across the state line in Nevada. As you can see, it is beautiful. Uh, that conditions there will change very quickly here coming uh, soon but for the moment it's absolutely stunning and getting to or from Lake Tahoe well that's going to be the trick very difficult maybe even impossible when the storm arrives today it's an easy drive as you can see in these views from these Caltrans cameras no chain requirements in effect for either I-80 or Highway 50 but again that is going to change and ABC 7 News reporter Leanne Melendez is in the newsroom with more on what travelers should expect and Leanne uh, well, you know, people are going to make the trek up there no matter what we tell them. And we're going to help them navigate right. their way there. Now, we know of people who have already canceled their plans to go up there to Tahoe. But despite the warnings, what can I tell you, Dan? You know there are those who are relentless. The people who live there are used to this and know what to do. But this time, it's not only the snow, but the rain, the flooding. And that has both visitors and locals concerned building a better Bay Area. Moving forward, finding solutions. This is ABC 7 News. A seven on your side story about a new type of ATM fraud has exploded on the internet. Scammers using glue and the ATM tap feature have been draining bank accounts. Yeah, now more victims have come forward saying it happened to them as well. I know I've been telling people right. about it, Michael. <laughs> uh, this story's really struck a nerve. Uh, everywhere I go, people are talking I'll about bet. this. It's amazing. And look, this scam has so many moving parts. It starts with thieves pouring glue into the card reader. That forces consumers to use a tap function, setting up a domino effect. ...of three and 29. <gasps> Ouch. Yeah, so probably That's some tough. changes at Cal. I really feel bad for those kids who, you know, they've had a lot of transfers and it just they could never really get a footing and get the program built back up again. Uh, Stanford leading uh, by five in their game in the Pac-12 tournament. We'll have uh, highlights of that tonight at 11. Okay, great. A great breakdown of the defense for the Warriors. There's a lot of breakdowns to break down. <laughs> <laughs> right. Thank you, Larry. Yeah. All right, tonight on ABC7, starting at 8, it's the Connors, the Goldbergs, Abbott Elementary, and Not Dead Yet. Then it's
It's a Million Little Things at 10, and that's followed by ABC 7 News at 11. Remember, ABC 7 News is streaming 24-7. Get the ABC 7 Bay Area app and join us whenever you want, wherever you are. And that is it for this edition of ABC 7 News. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Ama Dates. And I'm Dan Ashley. For Sandy Patel, Larry Beal, all of us here, we appreciate your time. Have a great evening. We'll see you again for ABC 7 News at 11. Track the rain with the ABC7 Bay Area streaming app.